Well, good morning and welcome to day one of our time together with our book, Fasting for a Change. Hey, if you didn't check out the intro video, go back. I went through a few details of what we'll be doing together each day for the next 21 days. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Tammy Hudson Pillar and I am your fasting coach. We're gonna to come together for 21 days and we're gonna believe God for all kinds of changes, for supernatural breakthrough, for miracles and divine encounters. As I mentioned to you, there's 21 days that we're gonna to walk together through our fasting for a change. Now, if you have your book, open it up to day one. We're gonna get started. If you haven't gotten your book yet, you can go to Amazon. You can check it out on my website, TammyHotsonPillar.com. That's probably where you are watching this video right now. Hey guys, it's really important that you have the book because we're gonna walk day by day through the coaching tips and through all of the information, your journal entries and your discussion questions. So you want to make sure you have the book. Now, let me just encourage you right now on day one, we talked yesterday a little bit about accountability. And it's so important that you have someone holding you accountable, whether it's me as your life coach, or maybe a family member or a friend. So I wanna encourage you, ask someone to partner with you on this fast. I know here at our church, Influence Church, we're doing a corporate fast together. So as a church, we're actually fasting for 21 days and we're so excited about that. Maybe your church would wanna join you in this corporate fast. You know, guys, we're believing God for breakthrough. We're believing God for changes, both here in our country, in our hearts and in our homes and in our families. So this is a great time to believe God for change in 2024 in our hearts and here in our nation. So we're so excited. Well, as I said, open up your book to day one. I'm so excited about today's message. Now, as you see, we're going to start off right here today on day one with the book of Genesis, the very beginning, how God began to talk to his children, Adam and Eve, and talk to them about confidence. Let me give you the definition of confidence, and that's what we're going to be talking about today, how to walk in confidence with God. The definition of confidence is so, so good, and it's really important that you understand what this is. The feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something, a firm trust, a state of feeling, a certain thing about the truth of something. So read that definition. I want you to understand what confidence is. It's the fact that you really believe something is what it says it is. Now, let me start every single day. I want to walk you through the signs of low confidence or the signs of what you're struggling with. So you can identify in your own personal life whether you have confidence or not. As we're reading our book, here's what we see. It's hard for you to receive a compliment. Well, if you're struggling in your own life when somebody gives you a compliment and you're going, oh, that's not me, you probably lack confidence. Or if you see your mistakes more than you see your successes, you probably are struggling with confidence. Maybe you feel like you're less than others and you're constantly comparing yourself with someone. Can I say that means you lack confidence? Maybe you compare yourself with your family member or a sibling, or maybe your happiness depends on others. My friend, if that's true in your life, you are struggling with confidence. Can I tell you that God wants you to walk in confidence. God wants you to have confidence. The Bible tells us in Philippians 1, 6, you see it right there in your book, the scripture, being confident in this very thing, that he who began a good work in you. Now we're gonna talk about this today. God began a good work in you. The Bible tells us he will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's jump in our story for today. Do you realize in the book of Genesis, when God created Adam and Eve, that he created them with confidence. He created them in his identity, in his image. Now stop right now, let's just drill together. We're just gonna be a few minutes today. God created you in his image. Do you think that God has a confidence problem? Hey, I don't. I believe all authority and all power and all confidence is in my God. And when he created me in his image, he created me in the image of confidence. I want you to say it with me right now. I am walking in the authority of the confidence of God. Today, I will have confidence in God. You see, all 
21 of these days that we're going to look at together over the next three weeks are not what my ability is, but what his ability is in me. Fasting for a change is for you to understand when you fast, and we're going to fast for 21 days together, we're going to call these things forth, all the things that God has in you. It's not about your confidence. It's about being made in the image of Almighty God, and I can walk in authority, and I can walk in confidence. We see in the scripture that God said to Adam and Eve, and I love this story, and you probably know it. He said to his two first created beings. I have made you confident. Everything I've given you, I've given you all the authority. Everything I've created here, everything I've made is for you. And I want you to walk in all of the ability and all the creativity and all of the confidence I've given you. Now listen, here's what he said. Adam and Eve, all that I've made is for you. Enjoy it. Walk in it. Love it. But there's one thing I don't want you to do. I do not want you to eat from this one tree over here. I do not want you to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because listen, I don't want you to ever struggle with good and evil. I don't want you to ever be tempted or even know good from evil. This is for me to know, not for you to carry the burden of good and evil. But what happened? What is the very thing that happened to Adam and Eve? Yep, the very thing that happens to you. The enemy comes and he tries to come at you and tries to tempt you with the very thing that God said, do not entertain good from evil. What was the attack that the enemy came to Adam and Eve with? It was the authority of the word of God. The enemy came and he said, did God really say? Why doesn't he want you to know good from evil? because he did not want them to understand the authority that they had in God and God alone. The enemy will always come and lie to you. And that's what he did here. The, the attack will always be, listen to me, the attack will always be with the confidence of the word of God. He will always come to you and he will say to you, did God really say that to you? Hey, you're not all that. You can't have confidence in that. You've never done it before. You'll never do, be able to do it. God will always tell you that his confidence is in you because he gave you the authority, but the enemy will always come and challenge that. So I want you to understand today as we're fasting for this change of confidence that I want you to begin to articulate in your own life all that God has for you. I want you to read this passage in Genesis. I want you to understand what God has for you because he has so much more. I want you to say, God, as I look right here, here's the areas in my life that I struggle with confidence, but I know that you say greater are you in me than he that is in the world. And I'm going to walk in this confidence. So read through all of those passages today in Genesis. And then what I want you to do is I want you to begin to look at our coaching for today. Remember the attack will always come from the enemy toward my confidence in Christ and the confidence in the word of God. What I want you to do is I want you to flip ahead and I want you to look at our coaching steps together. Today, I want to talk to you about these three coaching steps. I'm going to coach you through these today. Because again, remember, we're just together a few minutes every morning, but you've got 24 hours to walk through this fast. You've got 24 hours to say no to the enemy when he comes and tempts you with food or any other temptation that comes your way. You're going to say no to the enemy and you're going to say yes to God. So let's look at our coaching three steps today. Number one, you must know that you are created in the image of God. Your confidence does not come from your ability, but from him, the giver of life. Read these coaching tools with me today. The God of creation. I can be confident in knowing that he has created me in his image for good works. So I want you to stop right now, number one, and I want you to thank God for the confidence that he puts in you. Number one, day one, we are fasting for confidence. At the end of these 21 days together, I believe these attributes, these characteristics are going to be so evident in your life because you are fasting for these things in your life. I want you to go in all full confidence today that he has begun a good work in you and he will complete it. But then number two with our coaching steps today, know your enemy. The enemy will continue to try to deceive you, to tempt you with the apple of your identity. 
Man, that's so good. When I wrote that down, it just like resonated with me. The enemy will always come and try to tempt you with the apple of your identity. Your identity is found in Christ and Christ alone. You can be confident. We read it in Philippians. Continue to say that to yourself. I am confident, God, that you created so much more for me and I'm going deeper with you. He will try to trick you and deceive you in thinking that you have nothing to offer. Satan is a liar and you have so much to offer the kingdom. You have so much to offer your family. You have so much to offer your business. You have so much to offer your church. Begin to decree it and declare it and to say it. Be confident in all that God has created for you. And then number three, this is so important, memorize the word of God. This is how you grow in your confidence. So go back to that verse that we said in Philippians and begin to articulate it, to memorize it. Do you realize that's how you do warfare with the enemy? You know the word of God, you speak the word of God, you take authority over the enemy and you have confidence in who you are. Now listen, on day one, I want you to go through everything I've listed here for you. You're going to go through that Moses fast, and you're going to understand in week one, we're going to talk about the Moses fast. You're going to read through that. You're going to realize how Moses had confidence to go on that mountaintop with God, to fast for 40 days. You're going to look at how we talked with Adam and Eve and understand the confidence they had. So every day for 21 days, we're going to have a characteristic, and then we're going to look at our fasting principles for the day. You're going to stand strong with me for 21 days. We're going to fast. We're going to decree, declare, and believe. We're going to say no to the flesh. Now, I don't know what you're fasting for and you're fasting from, but there's something in your life you're fasting for breakthrough. And there's some fast in your life, whether it's abstaining from food, whether it's a juice fast, a Daniel fast, a partial fast, or an absolute fast. I've listed all of those on my website. I've listed all of those in the book. Know what you're fasting for. God's got breakthrough for you. God's got great things for you. So let's start right here on day one and let's close with our prayer together flip over through the pages to our closing prayer. And I want to pray with you. Dear Lord, thank you for the watch care and the protection you give me every day. I understand that my confidence and my adequacy come from you and you alone. Teach me to lean on you for my daily decisions and submit to your promptings in my heart. You have plans to give me hope and not harm. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, our fasting for today is fasting for confidence. You bring your prayer. You bring your supplication. You bring your request to God. But stay strong in the confidence that you have, just like Adam and Eve. You were created in His image for so much more. Stay strong for these 24 hours. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow morning. Read through your book. God's got so much in store. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning.